Well, I remember my third year of dental school that my friends and I thought we knew everything about dentistry already. And then once we got into clinic and we started to do some more difficult cases, it really dawned on me that I needed a little bit more training to successfully treat patients the right way. Um, so I started looking into four or five GPRs. Uh, you know, I, I could have gone straight into private practice, I felt like, but I didn't have the, the ideal situation to find somebody to, to mentor me. Had I found that, I might have gone into private practice, but I was just happy to get out of the student clinic and, and pass boards, um, let alone have time to find the ideal private practice. So a GPR was a natural fit for me. Well, my friend and I were both applying at about the same time to residency programs. He was applying to some AGDs also, and he had already done several interviews. And after speaking to him and, and getting his insight, he informed me that a lot of the AGDs seemed to be more like a fifth year of dental school, where you didn't gain any independence um, or a lot of exposure to surgery. Uh, I really enjoyed the surgery component when I was at WVU, even to the point where I thought I might like to specialize but I wasn't 100% certain. So I knew the GPRs had more of a surgery component, even an on-call schedule. So after visiting this GPR, I realized that it was a natural fit for me, given the fact that we do have on-call, we are in a hospital, um, and it just let me, let me explore those opportunities a little bit more. Um, even though I'm not going on to specialize in oral surgery, I have developed a lot of the skills to let me tackle anything that comes into my office uh, with the surgery component. Well, the first thing I thought when I walked in was, was wow, this is a really nice clinic. Um, it was brand new, and, and walking through, they had a lot of the same new technology that WVU had at, at our clinic. Um, so that was nice to be able to know that I could transition into to being in a new, in a new facility. Um, after sitting down and talking to Dr. Wojcikowski for probably three or four hours, um, I knew that I immediately meshed well with him and that he was going to be there not just to mentor me but as a friend if I needed anything else. Um, he, he was honest and said that we are uh, basically do a lot of extractions here, a lot of surgeries, but at the same time we have a strong pros component. Having Dr. Maxfield with us as a full-time prosthodontist um, to be able to bounce ideas off as far as different types of a removable prosthesis, implants, um, is an invaluable resource. Um, adding this PROS component uh, pretty much sealed the deal for me and set this program apart from any other that I had seen. When I look back on the past 12 months as a resident here, I can honestly say that I, I probably would have survived in private practice, but it would have been difficult Having seen the, the plethora of patients that come in here with, with varying infections uh, and problems with their dentition, there's no way I would have been able to have that type of exposure in one year of private practice as I have as one year here. You know, leaving this residency, I'm leaving as a dentist, not just a new graduate from dental school. And I feel like now I can treat the patients with the confidence that they deserve. I'd recommend this to every graduate from dental school. I think that you learn a lot of dentistry in dental school, but you don't learn the real world dentistry. Um, you know, also, if anybody is thinking about specializing, we have every specialist um, to our disposal. They come in and help us at least once or twice a month, and you can go to their offices and learn a lot from them that you, know, you can help make your decision if you do want to specialize. Um, you know, the extra year, it helps you hone your hand skills, um, and it get, really gives you the peace of mind that you'll be able to make a seamless transition into private practice or whatever specialty you decide.